Okay, this is Luigi Tromontan again. I am going to show you the state machine. Now, this is the free utility part, which is um, have, have many similarities with the multi-state cam or the camera switcher, uh, which uh, is another tutorial. However, in this one, I will show you the the which is not uh, specialized for cameras. Now. The first thing I want to do here, because <clears throat> if I hit record here, nothing will happen except that this jumps into the first position here. So the main thing here is that this current state uh, object will go to whatever state I map to this input here. So the first thing I want to do here is to make my favorite input. Uh, I will put it on my numpad here. So this is the first state, the second state. You can do it on your uh, on on your gamepad or whatever. Uh, the one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. On your keyboard, if you don't have a numpad. Uh, five, and then uh, we continue. Uh, I'm doing this uh, all the way now. Six, seven, eight, nine. That's and the tenth, like that, zero. Okay, so now we have all ten states mapped here. And what I want to do now is to press save a startup profile because I don't want to do this every time I create a, an instance of the state machine. So next time it will automatically be mapped this way. So what does this do now? Well, it's very simple. I press record here and... Uh, goes to the first then I press number two and it goes there if I press number eight then it flies the optimal path also to that specific number so I'm just pressing the, the numpad keyboard here like that and uh, of course this I mean this might be fun to look at but what's the use well it has many uses for example it can make uh, it can uh, if you parent this uh, relative cage mesh to something that moves for example a car or something else a character then all of these points will follow this uh, cage and it's also true that these points um, if, if they're parented to this they will of course follow it but you can also reparent this for example to the hand of the character and then um, it will, I mean, if I unparent it here, then it's no longer part of this hierarchy. But let's say I, I, let's pretend I have something that I have parented this to. So what we do here is uh, I will just keyframe this one here and just move it over there to say 100. And uh, perhaps rotate it a little bit like that and like this like this and like that okay so that's how how the object that I parented this object to which I mounted this object to I put a keyframe there so now we have a nice little slide there okay so let's see what this uh, what what happens if I press the number four key here First goes to one, then four. Ah, there. Now what you saw, ah, of course we missed this one. So let's do it again. Four. Yeah. So you see here, there is a little delay here due to the fact that we have uh, response factors here and maximum velocities and etc. etc. So you can. You can make all these work in concert to have different states of a machine. For example, you can also have it do puppeteering stuff with your, uh, with your. It's it's made for changing states. That's what it does. And if we just uh, if we use, uh, you can have separate uh, uh, settings for all of these. But uh, usually, you just use the simplified settings here, which only then it then this one counts for all all the states and if I just uh, make everything zero here 
which means immediate responses on everything then you will see that uh, this just bang 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 and the only time it actually flies in between these is between the frames so if you want it to to be immediate without having a, a interpolation between them you have to change the animation controller but that's up to you so if we just uh, return here and have a look at this immediately here all right so i hit record and i try to hit the four here and uh, what you see here is that we don't have that delay anymore so it's quite nice everything works exactly as it should and i can continue from here now i mean this is immediate bang 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 so you can probably find a million ways to use utilize this uh, tool um, and uh, if you if you're interested in switching cameras in this way you should take a look at the multi-state cam tutorial because there you have zooming you have clipping planes you have uh, the field of view uh, no, sorry the the target distance for focal lengths etc that that can be changed to this and changed in real time also as exactly as with this one as it was keyframe so advi uh, that's the uh, multi-state cam uh, multi-state ma state machine <laughs> not the multi-state cam thank you very much